Hello, my name is Paul Martinez and I'd like to welcome you to this short video on transforming your U3A website into your shop window. The uh, video is based on presentations from three U3As, Chepstow U3A, Ilkley U3A and Cheadle Hulme U3A. Uh, and they, these presentations were made uh, in a Zoom meeting to around 70 participants uh, in a meeting on the 4th of January 2021. So the website, sorry, the video is intended uh, for your website team or web manager, your publicity officer, uh, and indeed anyone who's interested in sharing in the transformation of your website. But um, in case you're um, looking for something very technical, this isn't technical at all. It's basically about the experiences of different U3As in transforming their websites. Uh, but actually there's hardly a technical word spoken uh, in the whole of the presentations. Okay, so first up we've got um, uh, Chepstow U3A and this is presented by Nikki Lee and uh, Derek Shotin. Thank you. Next group, next. Oh. So the first thing that is really, really important is that you focus and you think about who are you talking to? Now, this is your shop window. So therefore the most important people are the potential new members. So we know that they're 55 plus. We know that they're not working full time because that makes you U3A. Now, you have to make the assumption that they have no awareness of U3A at all because that's, a, that's an easy place to start. Um, they may have some awareness, but, but focus and think about none. Now, you've also got your existing members who of course are very familiar with U3A. So, so some of that is gonna be a bit boring and they'll jump to other pages. So if we, think, if we now move to and start thinking about the most important page on your website. And this is because for most people, this is the very, very first place that they're going to come. Now, every research you like to look at is gonna tell you that you have 15 seconds, that's it, before they decide whether they're going to find out more or go boring and click out and go somewhere else. So what you have on this homepage is the only thing you can do is to deliver the essential message about U3A. What exactly are we? So what we, we, we thought about this, and this isn't what we put on our website, but if you like, this is our mission statement. This is, this is how we think about ourselves. So, so we come back to this all the time when we're thinking about the website. What do we want to deliver? Now, Derek's gonna talk you into the next most important page. <clears throat> so the next most important page is the welcome page. So this expands on what you're going to tell people what your U3A has got to offer. <clears throat> and probably the most important thing that your U3A has got to offer is what activity groups you are going to, you've got within your U3A. Now, if possible, give links to what, uh, to, to the groups within your website. If you've got a lot of groups, you might not be able to do that. But if you've got a few groups, then link to those groups. Uh, what communications have you got within your U3A? Do you have a magazine? Do you have a newsletter? Do you have a Facebook page? If you have link to that page, um, link to your Facebook page if you've got one. What meetings have you, have you got, monthly meetings? You've probably not got, got a lot of those at the moment, but do you have online meetings? What social events do you have? Again, you might not have many of those at the moment, but if you have those in the future, link to your social event page, uh, pages. If you've got any testimonial, uh, testimonials, um, what have people's what have people's emails that the people have sent in to you saying how good your U3A is is what advantage has it been to them? Put them on your welcome page because people do like to read that sort of thing. And finally, link to the membership page. Tell them that tells them how much your U3A is going to cost and what the advantages are of being uh, of being a member of your U3A. 
Um, now, Chepstow U3A uses Site Builder. This is a free package which is provided by the Third Age Trust. Um, we've been using it for a long time, five years, six years or whatever. It's been around a long time and it is fair to say it is not a modern package, it's not a sophisticated package, but it does do all the basics and it is there, it is meant to be used by the average non-technical U3A member. Even somebody like Nikki can do it. Um, but it does have limited options. It has formatting options, uh, limited formatting options. For instance, it can do bold, but it can't do underlining. It has, you can put photographs on there and we, you do need lots of photographs on your website and you can put them on Site Builder, but you're limited as to where you can put them. And it has t tabulation options, but they're limited as to what you can do. But you can still produce a decent website from it. And bear in mind, it's free and it does have online support, free online support. And the other thing which, which is very useful is that they will take advice um, the, the site builder team. If you think that you can you can give them some information that will improve the package, they will take that on board. And there are things that when I use the, the the site builder package, I still see things that I've advised them that they could improve the package. And I think, oh, that is something I advised them to use, and they've updated the package. And that's not something that you get with a lot of uh, professional packages. So we did develop rules when we are putting our website together and when we're working on the website. And our first rule, and I would say one of the most important things is always, 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 always deliver a positive message. So even in these difficult times, our, we, we are delivering the positives that we're doing. We're never focusing on what we can't do. Um, you know, we never say a group is closed because that's, very negative. Think about things like the running order of the tabs across the page, because what you don't want is all the, the sort of the, the ad mini boringy stuff to be right at the beginning. So our beacon will be shoved right at the end and our membership and our groups and our magazine, all the things which really talk about and demonstrate what we're all about, we've got up the front. The other thing really I, I would, I would really urge people is please don't put reams and reams and reams and reams of copy because people don't read it. They really don't. People want to be able to skim through to see if they're interested. So I would say be concise. Really think about the, the important thing that you want to communicate and really prioritise on that and take out a lot of the clutter. Now, one way to do this, which we try to do, is we organise into headings so people can see very, very clearly what it is that, that we're talking to them about in that little section and put into bullet points. I would strongly urge that you put in photos throughout all the pages of people enjoying themselves because that adds warmth it adds empathy and it says, this is what we're all about. We are an organization for people to enjoy themselves. As Derek said, particularly on the welcome page, but on all the pages, add links to the other important pages so they can just click on, you know, and obviously membership is important. And the other thing that I would say, uh, and, and we do try and do this, is just keep, keep looking at the website, keep updating it, Make sure that particularly when you've got anything to do with meetings, once that meeting's gone, take it out, put the next one in. And so really, the other thing that I really think is important is what you really need here is teamwork. You know, I, this isn't something that just your webmaster can do because you very rarely are going to get the skills of the strategy, the copywriter, someone who looking for look at photos, and somebody who has the technical expertise to actually put it into the website in one person. You know, we have four people who continually work on the website, and in terms of 
looking at the website from a marketing point of view, there are three of us who work on this. And I would say, you know, it is all about teamwork. Please don't just leave it to your webmaster. That's us. Um, yeah, you can see that, I assume. Um, so go to our homepage first. Do you want so to talk? Can, about, go on. So what, what you can see is, is what we've done here is we've started off with that very positive statement. What are we? We're an activity led organization. And then we said, we're still doing it. We're still running. We're still meeting our friends. We're still making friends. We're still having fun. So that's, that's the core of what U3A is. And so we're still delivering that message on our home page. And then our welcome page, Now, we, if you go back, back to the top, Derek, just to have a look at our, we're talking about, what, what is U3 all about? It's living life to the full. So that's, that's, we've put that right at the very beginning, very out there. We then come back to just say a little bit more about, and we're saying no longer being in full-time employment, go up a little bit, Derek, can't read that, um, gives us time to enjoy the things we left behind. So there is a little bit more about who do you need to be to think about being part of this organization. And we, we here, we looked at the research that, um, that uh, Tat did about barriers to joining. And of course, one of the big barriers to joining was this perception of, of retirement. So we've branded it, rebranded it being no longer in full-time employment, which takes out that emotive word. Um, so then we go down and we've divided all our groups into sections. So if you're interested in art or you're interested in languages, um, you can immediately see what kind of groups we've got in the areas you might be interested in. And then there's our first link that where you can click on groups to go and have a look at more detail about the individual groups. Then we come, oh, no, it's on into groups. So then there's all the, all, everything about all the groups. So if you go back to the welcome, then we go on and we say, okay, we've also got lots of social activities. So then we talk about, we give them a link to the monthly magazine. Um, we give them a link to Tuesday Live, which is our, um, our meetings. And then we give them a link to social events. Now, obviously we haven't got any social events at the moment, um, but you know, th that would be what we do. And then we had a few really nice testimonials which basically is quietly looking at reasons why people might want to join and, and just giving that reassurance, you know, that said actually it did exactly what it said on the tin. Um, and lastly, because that's what you really want people to do, we give you a membership link because, you know, that's where we're driving you. We're driving you on to joining. So we're, we're saying, we're making it so easy for you, click on membership, this is how you join. So you can see the whole, everything is, is laid out to be easy to read, to be very easy to navigate so that you don't have to try, you don't have to find a, spend a long time trying to find the bits that you're interested in. The second presentation is by Ilkley U3A and it's presented by John Hancock. Is this coming through okay? Yeah, you're yep, fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, so um, I'm part of the website improvement team at Ilkley U3A. Um, the top there is our banner headline. And I was reassured actually listening to the earlier presentation that um, it reflects many of the things which we are trying to do ourselves, which is uh, rather reassuring. So I want to talk about how we went about making our website more engaging, something we're doing about measuring our performance using Google Analytics and Google Console, uh, and then talking about how we integrate with some of the other U3A communications. And finally, trying to improve our awareness through something called search engine optimization, which I don't pretend to understand, but we just get into grips with. Um, Two years ago, 
we had a website administration team which reported into the trustees. Uh, we had a webmaster, um, uh, three or four people in support roles, including the membership secretary. And the primary focus was on membership records, event management, group information, and some reporting of group activity. But no one had responsibility, no one had overall responsibility for the look, the feel, and the performance of the website. It was something that which happened through osmosis almost. It was um, really very much based upon, uh, this is what we needed to have to be, to, to run the organization, it was concentrating on um, membership records and have they paid their subscriptions and so on and so forth. And it's worth mentioning at this stage that there was uh, the questions earlier on about um, site builder and whatnot. Um, we use a package called Wild Apricot, which is uh, not cheap, um, based in Toronto in Canada, but it is used um, by like-minded organizations to ours throughout the whole world. So there is a degree of expertise there. So we had this website administration team and the first thing we did was to uh, think about who had the overall responsibility. And we changed it from um, a website administration into a website improvement team, same people. But we moved it, we moved the responsibility into a communications and publicity group, which was one step away, removed away from the trustees. And the first thing we did was to try to look, um, we tried to search Google about what made a successful website. And there's many of the things that Chepster have already mentioned. So I might visit the uh, U3A website because there will always be something new to see um, and we use the analogy of a newspaper article is only read once so why would you want to keep going back to the same website when you're seeing the same thing over and over again. Um, our research said that they, people like shorter blocks of text, the use of animation and multimedia, only 25% of the website text actually gets read and small segments and photographs and other content hold the attention, which again is reflecting what Chepster have already said. Easy to find information. Navigation needs to be intuitive, smooth and straightforward so I can get to the information easily. And that's all about having hyperlinks and uh, reducing the number of tabs. It needs to look dynamic and interesting. So there'll always be something new to watch on the website um, and um, these are some examples of the things which we have. We have a green tip of the month so every month that changes. Um, there's a, a, a we've discovered a, a, a scrapbook of Ilkley uh, where somebody has been keeping um, cuttings from the local newspaper so every month we put up a new section of that. We have ongoing forthcoming events. Uh, we do a lot of events by Zoom and these are also on the front page. And we have an ongoing gallery of local views. Right. And in terms of the shorter blocks of text, the sorts of things we use is there's animation at the very front of the website where you, there's the latest news and you can click on the link. Uh, we've got a humor page because um, people are always sending us these snippets off of social media and we put up those twice a month um, with uh, the latest um, slightly dubious humour sometimes but nevertheless it's there um, and we also all of our various Zoom meetings are recorded and we put up recordings there for people to go and um, click on the recording and a, a catch up service. We need to make sure information is easy to find. So one of the first things we did was we cut down drastically on the number of tabs. And we only have a homepage, join us, groups, events, news, members, and search. And through those, everything else becomes available. 
And these are a list of the um, topics, not groups, but topics which are currently um, up and running. So we have an ancestry group, which is not yet uh, operating, but architecture is, and you click on architecture and it takes you through to the group page. So one of the things which we tried to do to start off with is we've been using something called Google Analytics to, dis to discover exactly who is looking at our website and how many people are visiting. And we started doing this in quarter one, 2009. You can see that the average daily visitors have increased steadily from about 50 in quarter one, 2019, um, up to 124 daily visitors in quarter four of last year. And these are the way that people arrive at our website. 62% um, are directly linked. Um, so this is either people um, clicking on links on our newsflash or um, our sort of twice monthly newsletter, or there are people that have come into us through Google. Some of us have come through Facebook and Bing and Twitter. And we've also discovered through using Google Analytics, and this was a real surprise, that um, as a regular website user, you might perhaps think that most people go into the website on a desktop, but they don't. Um, in fact, marginally 50% do. An awful lot of our uh, visitors are actually visiting us on mobile phones and a significant number on iPads and the like. And I'll just come back to that for a moment. That's actually quite important because when you're looking at doing the desktop, when you're looking at creating the website, you'll find that what's sitting on the, on what shows up on the desktop doesn't necessarily translate to when you're looking at it on a tablet or on a smaller mobile screen. So one of the things we do is every time we put something new on the website, we test it on a tablet and we test it on a mobile phone to make sure that they are um, viewable. Earlier on, I mentioned that we changed where the website improvement team reported into. Um, and it's part of the communications and publicity group, which in turn reports the management of the trustees. So this is at arm's length from the trustees, and it means that we can do our own thing without telling them what we're doing. Well, we do try to keep them informed, but you know what I mean. So the communications group uh, consists of the website improvement team, which I've talked about. Uh, somebody looks after social media, someone looks after the eye, which is um, a, a two monthly, a, a two, a biannual uh, publication, sort of an eight page glossy magazine. Newsflash, which is our online newsletter that comes out twice a month. And of course, we also have a public relations team, which looks at how we deal with the local press and uh, and a couple of local radio stations. So on social media, we have uh, a Twitter page and uh, Facebook. Here's an example of something which has been put onto our Facebook page. This somehow went viral. I've got no idea how, but it got seen by 1600 members, 1600 people up and down the country. And you'll see there that there's a link back to our website so every time we post something on social media, there's a link back to the website and people click on that. And on this particular one, they end up at the Art for Fun um, presentation. Here's an example of the eye. This is a, a, an eight page glossy newspaper for want of a better description. And this has links as well. And can I uh, draw your attention to the bottom left of the side there with a QR code. Um, if you point that, um, if you point your smartphone or your um, or, or your tablet at that QR code, it takes you to the website. And within the pages of the eye, there were perhaps in the last edition half a dozen articles, um, which you clicked on the, your, you, you pointed your smartphone at the QR code, and it took you back to the website where you could see everything in on the website, including videos. Uh, this is an example of the news flash, which goes out to our members twice a month. And again, you'll see that um, you know, we had a nice 
Mary Snowman at the top of it this in December. And there are, every time you see the QR link, that brings you back to the website. So the quirky humor would take you to the cartoons, the green tip of the month would take you to how green is your Christmas tree and so on. Uh, the public relations, um, this is an example of a recent post we put on our Ilkley Chat notice board. Ilkley Chat is an online forum newspaper which is run in Ilkley. Uh, it's got about 10,000 followers in Ilkley and bearing in mind that Ilkley has only got a population of about 20,000, you can see that it's got half of the population looking at it. So here they um, um, took hold of one of the UCA's chats about our Christmas cracker event and again it was linked back to the website where if, in, if people are interested they could watch a video of the trustees making fools of themselves. I wanted to come back to this particular side which talks about the where we're getting our traffic from and this is coming off of Google Analytics. Um, that 22% coming in from Google, you think Google, you think my goodness that's pretty good. Um, but it's not as good as it may seem because we've done some more research and for the, we've just started to do this, but for the six weeks ending 31st of December 2000, you'll see that a lot of people um, reached our website or had the website give them to them on a Google search because they put in Ilkley U3A or they put in U3A Ilkley. Um, and then various other things, um, uh, people, somebody has been searching the Boss Castle flood case study. Now that turned up on our web, that gave them a link back to the U3A website simply because um, we had a presentation about the Boss Castle flood website or the Boss Castle flood and that is still sitting on the website so Google managed to pick it up. Um, my favourite one here on the right hand side is somebody's um, search for the Ilkley tip and has ended up on the Ilkley U3A page. Um, uh, that is simply because we think um, Google tip has picked up green tip of the month, um, but nevertheless searching for Ilkley tip you end up on the U3A website. Um, and this is the thing that we're now starting to look at, which is search engine op optimization. It's about saying, how do we get U3A to be shown up more and more when you research Google? Because if you put in um, walking groups Ilkley and don't specify U3A, you are not necessarily going to end up with Ilkley U3A website for walking groups. If you put up I want to learn French in Ilkley, you are not going to end up on the Ilkley U3A website. Even if you put up, I want to learn French for seniors, you're not going to end up on the Ilkley U3A website. So we're looking now to see how we can possibly um, start to educate Google to show U3A as um, a, a better solution for some of these more obscure search engines. And this is um, a, a, a screenshot of our current um, uh, front page. Uh, you'll see that we have join us today, reduced membership, only seven pounds, which takes us through to the next renewal. Um, like um, Chepster, we've talked about uh, uh, um, we were a group of 1500 retired and semi-retired folk not quite the same language, but a similar sort of thing, who like to meet people, learn new things, and make friendships through shared interests and hobbies. And this list of um, events is constantly changing. These are the latest ones which are coming up. If anybody clicks on that, if they're a U3A member, they can register to, um, uh, uh, to, to join the Zoom presentation. If they're not, they get another link which says, Hold on, this is all the information about this talk. If you want to see it, click here and it takes you through to the, um, um, to the membership page. The third presentation is from Cheadle Hume U3A and it's presented uh, by Neil Rackham. 
questions? Les? I'll start off by trying to share if I can. Yeah, you're sharing. No, 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 no. Oh, do, do. Okay. Um, our website is, is also based on WordPress, as was Plymouth, uh, but it's, we've chosen a different theme to the one they have. Uh, the reason we chose WordPress is because it's open access, it's web-based, so we can have a number of people to edit it, uh, and it's free. So it doesn't cost you any money to actually do it. All you've got to do is learn how to do it. Um, so I had to teach myself how to, how to actually put this thing together, which we did over, what, week, two weeks before Christmas. So this is what we've come up with. Excuse me, I'm just going to move your pictures a little bit, see if they'll come down to the bottom. There we go. What we have is, this is the home page. So you have, as with other groups, the uh, bar at the top with your home, your notice and events, newsletters, list of all the groups, which I'll come back to in a few minutes. Uh, visitors who can join us and the committee as well. And also we've got a little search engine there for people that want to use the search. So as you can see, the front screen has a rolling window. It has seven separate panes in the window. You can choose how many you want when you set it up. We chose seven. And what this enables us to do is to put little elements in. And if they want to look deeper, they can then look deeper into the various items. But for instance, if we go on to the notice and events, by the way, the picture in the background is Cheadle Hume, which is an aerial shot I took many years ago now. Anyway, uh, so that gives us our, what the local, what our current events are or our forthcoming events are. But it also provides us a link to, we set up a Google calendar such that it takes in all the Zoom uh, meetings that we have. Ooh, As you can see, that's what they are at the moment. So people can then look at what the, whatever uh, is running at the moment. And if not, well, I'll tell you how we, get, how we deal with that again. If I may, I'll just go back to the front page. So we have a, this is one that we put in just before Christmas, which was just a, the photographic group were putting in a competition on how they would how their photographs were being presented so we put them on the on the main screen go back to home so we have again things like for the covid so unfortunately manchester which is where stockport and greater manchester is we're in tier four <laughs> Which basically means we go nowhere, we do nothing, we just stay home and, and try and play on the website. I'll spring it around. We have a Facebook page. So we can, from here, go into Facebook. And hopefully this will do it. I'll change it over to how the you would see as a visitor. Um, those are the recent posts that have gone in about various things. Come back up to home. As it's only just started, as I say, this was put up in December. We've still got a few things and I've picked up a few ideas to uh, enhance it from here. Uh, we've got a, an area for the third age trust to tell us what the UCA is about. I've also linked in the local groups on their website, so you can click on one of these and you can go to one of the other groups' websites if, to see if they've got something diff different offering, and also the third age trust website as well. That's also on there. If I look at the, the groups, it's a simple drop down menu. You can look at whichever one you wish. And I will specifically go through to photography to begin with. Again, you'll notice that every page has got 
at least one picture on it, if not several pictures on it. We try and keep it to be driven by as much graphics as we can. Although I, I have to say, we do get a bit wordy at times. Every group page has got a connection to the group leader. So in this case, it's photography, which is the one I run, uh, which allows you can then send them an email direct. As you can see, there's an email up there. And I should also say that, oh, move that around a bit. It doesn't help me when I'm doing this. There we go. Thank you. Uh, the actual website is covered by bot protection, which means that you don't get computers trawling around for email addresses at, at nauseam. And then you start getting lots of emails that you don't want. So the whole website is covered. At this point, you don't see the, the actual uh, email address. It's all encrypted. So it's as safe as we can make it. You'll also note that we chose to put in, rather than uh, hotkeys, which, which we've got up here, on every page we've sort of made them stand out so they're easy to see. People can, if they're slightly visually impaired, I've got a better chance of being able to pick them up. We have a Facebook page specifically for uh, the photographic group so that you can go through and you, that's all of the pictures that the photographic group have taken and submitted to the group for whatever purpose. That particular one was one for recolouring from black and white. Uh, well, you can see you've got the U3A on there because there's the black and white one that it came from. Various editing techniques and processes. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. Okay. go back to home. We have again our committee so you know who everyone is. Those that have got email addresses again we have an email address connection so if they've got any uh, requirements for the chairman which is unfortunately me or any of the other the treasurer in, in this time of year for membership then they can be contacted. Um, fairly simple. It was easy to, to having learnt it, to, to put it together. We now have three people that can edit it, which is the, the, pre, the reason for change was that the previous person that developed the site was under a system called Rapid Weaver meant that it, only he could actually do, alter it. So we were limited to one person and he just turned around and said, well, I want to retire from this. I don't mind doing just, you know, coming to the meetings, but I don't want to get involved with anything, which we had to do something to put it back together again. Uh, we've now got three, so at least it spreads it a bit. I will think that really is about all I can say. I can go through it and tell you about the newsletters and what else have you. But. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. I, I was really struck by your moving pictures on your front page. It's, it's a way of, uh, of, of getting the maximum interest into, uh, onto well, that land page. That's right. What, that's what we tried to do. It was to have, so you the front page is for new members or to attract interest in. So it gives them a quick scan through you know, what there is to see and for the members they have the top row where they can go into the groups and look what their group's doing as other people can as well and you can also look around the, the, the whole site and pick up the information that you need. Okay that's great um, and just looking at the questions uh, somebody was saying so very many thanks to Chepstow Ilkley and Cheadle Hulme U3As for what I think you all agree are some brilliant presentations uh, which really focus on the, the how and the why of how you can transform your website into your shop window. Um, you may also be interested in a, a, a guide uh, which is part of the, um, the uh, retention and recruitment toolkit uh, and the guide is called Transforming Your Website Into Your Shop Window and that should soon be available on the national website. And best of luck with your own website project. 
uh, and I uh, hope to I hope you'll be in touch with us.